with this video I'll demonstrate you how to install SharePoint Foundation 2013 on Windows Server 2012 and what obstacles you might encounter during the installation. Here we've already installed the pre prerequisites. Now let's install SharePoint Foundation 2013. I'm accepting the end user agreement. Here I'm going to install a standalone application. You can learn more about the different types of installments from the documentation given by Microsoft. Now we are waiting for the installation progress to continue. Once finished, we run the configuration wizard for SharePoint products. We click Next and confirm the configuration. We are awaiting the different types of configuration to be processed. Now we are going to encounter the first issue. Here we go. This is the first issue. It says that the service running under network service account in work group is not supported. In order to remedy the situation, we are going to run the following script. After the execution of the script, the SharePoint admin database and configuration database are created. Now let's create a new user which will be used for search service. We give an appropriate name for the user. This is required due to the fact the user is not configured automatically. Since the machine is not a part of a domain, we give appropriate description, full name and username, and of course a password. We click create. Now let's add the user to the appropriate group of administrators. We find WSS admin group. Now let's add the new created user. We click OK, to add the user, apply, and OK. So now we have to share the analytics folder of SharePoint under 15 high data analytics and GUID. We have to share the folder for the newly created search user. For now we are just going to add the group. Here it is. We give full control over the folder. For now we are going to cancel our result since we didn't make any changes. Now let's start again the configuration wizard and see what happens. However, during the configuration progress we get another issue that the SDDL string contains an invalid SID. This is due to the fact that the newly created search service account has not been registered. It's a SharePoint service managed account. We are going to run the following script in order to register the account. We are using a simple new SP managed account command let in SharePoint giving the credential parameter which is saved in the search serve variable. Here we are going to provide a proper password. We get a verification that the search service has been registered. Now we run the central administration in order to verify that the configuration has been done properly. We navigate to the service accounts options and select SharePoint for search. Afterwards we select the search service managed account and click the OK button. Finally, we are going to start once more, final time the configuration wizard. 
configuring the SharePoint products. Wait until the configuration finishes successfully. Now you can simply see that the step 8 out of 10 is finishing properly. Finally, click the finish button. SharePoint will now launch the default web application in a new browser window, which is located on port 18. Let's log in and test the application. We are doing this with the default administrator account. We might need to wait a little bit more time for the initial launching of the web application, the default SharePoint web application. And finally, there we go. We have launched our home page for the SharePoint web application, which is fully functional and we can start working on it. Thank you for watching. Should you have any questions, please don't hesitate to contact me.